Hello and welcome to the very first ShakeUp episode here on the TD Sniper channel. So what is a ShakeUp episode and why are we doing it? Well, a ShakeUp episode is where we completely change the rules of engagement to increase the challenge in a specific campaign. Why are we doing it? Well, the purpose of this channel is for me to find the most difficult campaigns in Rome Total War, beat them on very hard, very hard difficulty, so I can answer the question definitively of what is the hardest campaign in Rome Total War. Dacia was one of the most recommended ones. It was Dacia, Numidia, Spain, the Seleucids, Armenia. Those are like the main ones that are brought up a lot. But it's become very clear very fast that this campaign is not that hard. If you just get the economy under control, if you get some minor cities, it's, it's just not hard anymore. Because you get control of this whole region where you have basically no borders with any enemies anymore. You have every single one of your cities becoming a really strong technological center where you can build Chosen Swordsmen, some of the best infantry in the game, Chosen Archer Warband, long range, strong archers. You can get Scythian mercenaries. Horse archers are just so overpowered as we've seen with Skyly's the Conqueror's army that totally destroyed all of the Brutii. So we need to invent some difficulty here. <laughs> and otherwise it's just gonna get really boring and like, I could play optimally and really carefully like I've been playing this whole time, but I don't know that I would personally want to play like that long term. So I want to have some fun here. I want there to be a challenge. So here's the story behind the shakeup, because you got to have a story to justify it. I always stick to kind of a storyline with the characters in my campaigns. We just had the plague started in Macedonia, spread through our entire empire. All of our family members got sick. A hidden side effect of that plague, incredible aggression, desire for expansion, greed, madness. So now, instead of this careful micromanaging economic faction, we're going to be playing as a faction run by a bunch of insane people who just want to take over the whole world and don't really care about whether they win or lose battles. So we're just going to invade on every front. We're not going to worry too much about losing cities. If we lose a city, we lose a city because otherwise this is just going to be an easy, boring campaign where we slowly spread and take over the whole world and never have any real challenge. And this is the opposite problem that I had in the Spanish campaign. In the early parts of the Spanish campaign, I think part of what was so fun is that I wasn't very good at the game yet because I just hadn't been playing that much very hard, very hard campaigns right before I started the Spanish campaign. So I was unprepared for how challenging that campaign was. I was making mistakes. I was learning from my mistakes. And like it was kind of frustrating for some of the viewers, but... I really enjoyed learning from you guys about how to play the game better. And you know, we eventually got through it. And you know, now we're nearly done with that campaign. And we've got like 42 regions right now. But in this campaign, I'm starting it already pretty good at this game. I've been practicing a lot, playing through the whole Spanish campaign. And it's just a much easier campaign. So I'm going to start making some mistakes. But they're active mistakes. I'm aware that I'm not playing the game optimally from this point on. But I think if I continue to play the game optimally... I don't know if you guys would keep watching because it's just at some point too easy to be interesting. So we're going to be role playing a little bit from this point on. Let me know if you really hate the idea, but I think it's going to be really fun. So, all right, let's just try it out. First things first, we have an army here in this fort commanded by Attica. Is there any way we can attack Athens this turn with it? I think we might be able to. Because Athens only has three units in it. It's not reasonable for me to take Athens because Macedonia is just going to come back and fight us. But we have onagers here. We might be able to take Athens right now. So let's grab these mercenary peltas, besiege Athens, and then merge in this army. And we're just going to take Athens. And I don't care if we hold on to it. We're just going to exterminate it and kill everyone inside. So <laughs> let's do this. I don't even know if I can win this because this is a lot of cavalry and we have basically no good infantry but we're just going to try it out this is the new dacian way the commanders have lost their minds they got letters from vetsina telling them just kill everyone so that's what we're going to do all right let's start this battle we're not going to have any way of shooting at the cavalry in the city right off the bat so this is going to be really tricky how do we kill this cavalry with onagers and illyrian mercenaries we don't have any good infantry, so I don't know. Any chance we have a shot on these Greek cavalry? We're going to try. It says we technically have a shot, but this is so far away that I, I don't know. I, there's no way this is going to hit, right? No, there's no way. I don't even know if it's worth wasting ammunition. 
how's your aim? Not bad, actually. <laughs> that was close. It didn't kill anyone, though. So this might be a bit of a waste of ammunition. We'll try it for a little while. Just see if we can land one shot on this Greek cavalry. No, okay. Hold off for now. Oh, actually, this is a good shot. Okay. Fire there. We've killed a few Greek cavalry. Let's go. This is so fun. Let's fire some normal, uh, some fire ammo. Yeah, I want to start some fires in this city. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, this is glorious. Burn the city down. Kill everyone. Yes. Amazing. And we'll, yeah, we have guard mode on, so hopefully they won't pursue. Just keep firing. And we will also knock down the walls. I might turn one of the units to fire at the walls here. How many of these have we killed? We've killed a good amount of this cavalry. If we get one shot into the center mass right here of this unit, it will kill most of the unit. Okay, I'm going to have one of these units stop firing fire ammo and instead knock down this wall. Uh, this unit stopped firing for now because they don't really have a shot. And I'm going to rearrange them to right here so that once this wall comes down, they have a better shot in the Greek cavalry. Let's move these units out of the way of the onagers so they don't get themselves killed, go up the hill. And, I mean, we've got a pretty decent shot here. Line up right there. Right there. And then let's get this infantry out of the way. And we're going to have this unit of onagers try and lob some shots onto this cavalry. Right there. Right there. Any chance you land some shots here? I don't know. They don't have a great shot. We'll rearrange them right there. Like that. That's a beautiful shot. All right. Are they in range still? Fire. Oh my goodness. Come on. Land a shot, please. Right there, center mass. I don't think this is going to work. So close. Come on. Just a couple more shots. No. Okay. Didn't work out. That's all right. So this is the only unit that is actually hanging out by the front gates. Let's grab our mercenary hoplites, get them over here, and we're going to see if we can just take the front wall um, so we can get some troops up on the towers and start turning towers. All right, we're going to slowly walk kind of over here, see if we can avoid the towers and just come in from this angle. I don't know if we can avoid these towers, actually. Let's actually drop right like here because it seems like the cavalry keeps running out to that point. And as soon as we come in range of a tower, we will try and get out of the way. Nearly. Okay, come here. Yeah, let's go. Wonder if they'll keep doing it. Couple more. Nice, easy kills. All right, push up to maybe here. Okay, the whole unit's coming out. Will we break the unit here? They're wavering, they're broken, beautiful. Okay, come up to fill this gap in the wall and let's get, who do we want to try to turn the towers. We'll get some, this unit of just six hoplites that's going to be otherwise pretty useless. We will have, try to turn the towers. Okay, this unit's doing the little phalanx dance, which is not good. We don't want to lose this unit, so just get to safety. Okay, these guys have made it past the towers the first time, but they still need to get past the towers again. So will they die here? Three, yeah, they all died. Okay. Let's take this unit of 117 Illyrians and try with them. Get up to here. Turn off skirmish mode.
and try to make it inside the city. And hopefully the cavalry does not charge up here and kill them. But there aren't that many left in this unit of cavalry, so these Illyrians might be able to survive the charge. We'll see. All right, they're inside the city. Try and get up on the tower. We're going to take some heavy casualties here. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Turn the tower. Beautiful. All right, tower's turn. We'll continue turning a few more towers, and then we will go over and try and get the next portion of wall. So come over here. And actually, we got a shot here. So we can just kill this unit of Greek cavalry. They're going to run by some towers we turn. That's good. So anytime we have a shot with our Illyrians on the walls, we're going to take it. That is definitely a rare opportunity. And I'm guessing that the other units will make no attempt to come off the city center and fight us. So, okay, we turned one more tower. That's good enough. Let's get back over here and we'll see if we can turn the front gate. And this cavalry is going to come over in this direction and die in front of a tower, I think. Yeah, they just break immediately, but otherwise they'll die to a tower, so that's nice. There is some movement from... Is this Greek Cavalry? I believe so. Yeah, just Greek Cavalry. Maybe another unit over here. Yeah, I don't think they want to leave the city center, but they move around a lot, so they might. All right, do we want to turn the gateway? Yes, let's try turning the gateway. And we'll get some Archer Warband in here to get up on the walls. Someone is charging up here. Who is it? It's oh, just the small unit. But the general's also interested. Let's get the Illyrians back up on the walls just in case. Get the archers inside the city. Turn off skirmish mode in case something goes wrong and try to make it over to those towers. No, yeah, they're not interested. Good, okay. Let's actually have the archers go over here and turn the gateway. I know we'll take some casualties and these are pretty important troops, but it's worth doing. There we go. All right, we'll have the archers just hang out right here. And I mean, if we can turn this tower, that would be good, but we're gonna have them stop for now because they're about to have a shot on these light lancers as they walk by and they'll also get shot by the towers up here. So that's good. Yeah, they're gonna take a ton of damage right here. This is a great way to get kills on these. And we've got some shots in with the Illyrians, beautiful. So now really the only major threat we have left is the general's unit, which is a major threat. I mean, that's going to be seriously difficult. I wonder if onagers as infantry would be a good unit to try to use. Maybe. Defense of five. Attack versus troops, we don't really know, right? It doesn't really tell us because I don't think it's like 54. Uh, yeah, we don't know what it is, but I remember them doing fairly well in battle against most units so we might try to use them a little bit and i'll actually stop firing with my archers for now because if this unit's just going to stand in front of the gateway then they'll die either way but the general just came in range so we will fire from here I turned on guard mode so they wouldn't pursue, but yeah. Do we get kill any of the general's unit? No, not yet. General's unit is going to be seriously tough, but let's just grab all of our troops. We will grab our Illyrians, get them inside the city, and grab our mercenary hoplites, get them inside the city. Same with the onagers. Everyone just hang out right here. If they get charged, they should survive the charge. And who's getting shot right now? What are you getting shot by? Oh, this tower. Not good. Okay. Get over here. Turn the tower. Yeah, we lost some Illyrians. Come on, hurry up. Turn the tower. What are you doing? Okay, we turned this tower. And then... I mean, any chance they just charge us? No, I don't think so. Okay. This is probably going to be the route we want to take to reach the enemy. They're, they're kind of moving around. I wonder if they would charge us. I don't know, but we'll grab our hoplites, put them right here, and just block this street up. And then we will reinforce with all of our units. Just reinforce like this. We'll get our archer warband up on this portion of wall. Actually, we need our archer warband to be down here. Because we're going to need to tempt the enemy general into fighting. And we're going to treat our onagers as our best like support infantry for my hoplites. So... We'll have them be closest to the hoplites, and then we'll have the Illyrians behind them. All right. Drop like this, nice and wide. 
there we go and let's get the onagers behind them they have the commander as well which is useful and our hoplites are very confused right now unfortunately but let's just keep everyone together we want to make sure all of these guys are off of skirmish mode yeah do not skirmish yeah these hoplites are very confused can you guys just go up here please all right and we'll just keep moving together we'll slow this down a little bit so we don't get caught out drop there Yeah, what are they doing? Why are they so confused on the street? I'm going to see if they figure themselves out. I don't think they will, though. Yeah, what is this? What if you just go, like, way over here? Are you going to do this either way? Is this just the unit being broken? Yeah, I don't know why they're doing that. What if you don't hang out in Phalanx position? Is that better? Okay, that's better. Uh... Now can you drop Phalanx? No, okay. So Phalanx position is just not working right now, unfortunately. But let's keep everyone moving up. All right. And we're going to turn off, make sure fire wheel is turned off. Yeah. Illyrians can have fire wheel enabled, but we don't want our archers to have fire wheel just because they can fire from too far away. We want to be prepared. But if, if we're in range with the Illyrians, then... We should be ready to fight because, yeah, that's very close. Can you drop your phalanx without breaking over here? Any chance? And let's get our missile troops over here. Okay. Are you, are you good now? Have you stopped totally breaking? Nope. You have not. That's so annoying. Okay. Just hang out right here. All right, let's get our Illyrians really stacked up here. We want everyone to feel very much supported, not at all surrounded. And then do our archers have a shot right now? They do. Okay. Let's fire at the general's bodyguard, and we're going to slow this way down. And we're just going to hope, <laughs> we're going to hope that we do enough damage at the start of this fight to not have our entire army break. All right, drop your phalanx right at the last second. Uh, okay, interesting. I thought it might work for a second, but... All right, just fight everyone. Fight the general's bodyguard. Our Lyrians are going to get some shots in. How's morale? Okay, we're steady. If we kill the enemy general, we'll be fine. Uh, shaken is not good. Shaken is not good. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work, unfortunately. Come on, guys. No, we have a break. Yeah, we're all going to we're all going to die here. OK. <laughs> but some of our troops are just shaken or steady. I don't know. It's possible. We're going to have everyone stop and then fire again. OK, commander died. This is a loss. OK, darn. <laughs> You know what? This is why we're playing like this, though. Have some losses. This is this is actually a challenge if we play like this. We killed like 20 of the General's bodyguard, and we killed all of the Light Lancers, but... Yeah, killed 222 of them, lost 538. That's okay. That's what the shakeup episode's all about, so I can't be too bummed about a loss. So, yeah, that was not a greatest result, but we will regain, we'll get more troops, and we will try again next time. Can we get even more troops out of Thurman? Yes, we will build some Volksmen here and then we'll build some peasants just to keep public order under control. Good. And we'll just try again next time. But Vetsina will go on over to Thessalonica's docks and we're going to grab any troops we can out of Thessalonica, give them to Vetsina, and we're going to build a boat and just send him over to Asia Minor. He's just going to start fighting over here. Part of Tua is going to reunite with Captain Decibelus and whatever else we can muster, and they're going to march south and just fight the Macedonians. Apollonia is just going to have to fend for themselves. They will have three units of infantry against Nero Memamea's pretty strong army. We'll send some troops down from Salona, though, so we'll build some warband there. And these troops at Bailazora, any chance we can just take them all down to Thessalonica to help out with Fitzina's invasion of Asia Minor? Yes, we can. All right, perfect. 
So send them down to the port at Thessalonica and we'll grab these Archer Warband. They're gonna head on down with Captain Attila to the port at Byzantium. And we're just gonna muster this entire army to invade Asia Minor. Just total war. That's what this is all about. Byzantium, how's your public order? Fine, actually. We'll get these onagers and then we'll build some large boats to take Kodoso and his army over to start fighting Pontus at Nicomedia. So that handles our invasion of Asia Minor. We'll be attacking at Nicomedia with Kodoso and Vetsina might just go straight for betraying our allies, the Greeks, because this is total war. This is the whole thing. But it looks like we have some neighboring cities also controlled by Pontus down here. So we'll take those first and then we'll just go ahead and betray the Greeks right away. Total war, we're fighting everyone. We also have accounted for our invasion of Macedonia. It's going to be difficult, as we just saw with Captain Arapathes. Didn't go too well, and they have some big armies floating around here, but we're just going to have to muster whatever strength we can and fight scrappy fights and just see if we can beat the Macedonians. Next, at Segestica, let's see if we can just take the whole army out of the city. What do we need to leave here to appease the city? So we will queue some chosen swordsmen and then some peasants. And what does that leave us at? 60% public order. Maybe we leave behind one unit of Illyrians. That's perfect. 80% public order. More than enough. And then we're just going to invade. I mean, is there any chance of us beating the, Gre the Gauls at Batavium? I don't know. Let's go up and invade Germania. And if we lose Segestica, I'm not too bothered about it. Because that's what we're doing, just fighting everyone. We'll build some warband at Aquincum, and we'll bring this army up, reunite with them, and just head north. At Campus Yazigis, we will grab some cavalry to send over to assist, and we'll send maybe an archer warband with them as well. Just send them over to Aquincum to meet up with them. We'll start attacking the Germans up here. Over at Tenace, we were going to wait a bunch of turns, build a hall of heroes, and you know retrain our troops and all that cowardly stuff but no we're not doing that now at today's let's queue a whole bunch of barbarian peasants and we'll send back our weakest troops some barbarian cavalry some archer warband is that enough for today's oh 45 percent they're not super happy with me we'll send back another unit of chosen swordsmen and if they rebel for one turn i'm okay with that we're building peasants we should get our public order up pretty soon so we're just going to say that's enough. Skylurus, just start chasing the Scythians down. And looks like we've already run into some Scythians, and we're just going to fight them next turn. Captain Waradsin is a dead man. Our new regime is just full aggression all the time. At Campus Scythiae, we will grab all of the troops that we can spare. Is that good? Yeah, perfect. Captain Zyraxes is going to march down here and pick up this rebel settlement. It'll take a while to get there, but we'll grab that city and then we'll head up and continue attacking the Scythians. So I believe that's all of our fronts accounted for, except for Italy. So we should probably wait around and heal up these troops and you know not make any brash decisions, but that's not what we're going to do. We're going to besiege Croton right now. And Tarentum is definitely going to riot next turn. They're at 0% public order, which is not ideal. But if we take Crodon fast enough, then we should be able to hold on to Tarentum, right? That's the theory. So we're going to try that. Crodon, I think we can take with just this army. And hopefully they will be out of the game once we take Crodon. All right, we have completely switched up the way the entire campaign is working. This is a very shaky empire, but we're doing it. So let's go ahead and end the turn. We've been attacked at Croton. And yeah, this will be actually a somewhat difficult battle. Nero Mamea has some decent troops. And then Captain Flavius, the reinforcements from inside the city, looks like a pretty flimsy army. But Nero Mamea has some mostly anti-cavalry troops and then some ballistas. Faction leader... He has an understanding of strategy. Yeah, I don't know why he's attacking this turn, because since he just became faction leader this turn, he hasn't increased 
the amount of cavalry in his retinue. So he's at 49 cavalry right now because we just took Croton, killing the last faction leader. So he's going to have a serious disadvantage in this battle, but I'm happy to capitalize on it and knock out the broody eye in one fell swoop. Never trust a faction leader who doesn't have gray hair. All right, we'll start with our Scythians as one attack force, and then we're going to try and seize the high ground with our long range archers like so just yeah there we go like that and then we'll grab our heavy cavalry and put them over here to guard the long range archers let's start the battle and just see how we're looking let's get in range with our scythian mercenaries the only long range missile troops they have are these ballistas so we need to be aware of them but ballistas are usually not too much of a threat the reinforcements are coming from the opposite side of the battlefield so we have a ton of time to kill this first army which is great let's get our long range archers in range of the army they're on the high ground so that should happen pretty soon scythians are in range already these two units at the end are not quite in range let's see if we can get them in range just come over here and what are we shooting at right now Principes, perfect. That's a good target. That's some of their toughest troops. And we don't have any infantry at all. So yeah, I would love to kill their heavy infantry early in the battle. Their ballistas are not firing yet. They're just rolling around trying to get in range of my troops. So we're not in any danger yet. We will try and get a bunch of shots off before this battle really starts. Some of my long range archers are already in range of these bridge beds, which is good. Yeah, they're coming in range of all of them, so this will be brutal. Let's get our Scythians to fire at the Roman general. And we'll have guard mode on. We don't need to pursue. Just if you have a shot on the Roman general, fire at him, because that's the toughest stuff on the battlefield. And any long range archers that have a shot on the general as well, yes, take it. You guys one of you has shot on the general perfect and the other one does too so the whole army is basically targeting this general right now let's set everyone to not be on guard or to rather be on guard mode i don't need them pursuing hopefully they will skirmish effectively over here i can't imagine anyone's feeling good about this battle but let's see how much damage have we done we've killed nine percent of the army enemy army already Reinforcements are still far away, so yeah, not going well for the enemy. These Hastati are totally surrounded, getting shot on all sides. And their general's down to 29 strength already. For a faction leader, that is not good. Yeah, they're, they're rallying troops. Let's get our heavy cavalry on retainer just in case we need them, because this army is already pretty flimsy. If we charge in there with heavy cavalry, we might be able to just break the whole army. Enemy Roman general is at 16 strength, 13 strength. Yeah, this is really not a threat anymore. Let's start firing at these mercenary hoplites. You guys fire at these Histati. And actually, let's have you back up a little bit because they're reloading. So they're going to get some shots out of my Scythians. Yeah, just fire at these Histati. You fire at these Histati too. Over here, we have some weak Samnites. The hoplites, everyone's not doing well. Should we just charge in here and cause a break? Maybe. Let's uh, go kill these ballistas real quick. All right, these Samnites have broken. We're going to have these uh, 47 cavalry go kill the ballistas. And let's have Skylies deal with the enemy infantry. So we'll charge into the back of these mercenary hoplites. They're facing the wrong direction, so they should break. Okay, they're steady. Let's get out of there. We don't want to lose Skylies. He's very good. I'm surprised they didn't break there. But this army has just been slaughtered. Yeah, Ballistas have broken. These Principes. Yeah, okay. General's dead. Principes wavering. So this battle's basically over. But we still have reinforcements to deal with. So let's get our Scythians to stop firing. We will have them go fight the reinforcing army and then same thing with our long range archers we'll have them stop firing as well get them up here to face the reinforcing army 
and the heavy cavalry can run down a few troops. But yeah, we don't really need to run them down. Their general's dead, and I think we've killed at least 85% of that army, so it should disband. Horse archers, let's see what you have a shot on. Anyone have a shot on anyone? Not yet. Can you guys run down this unit of Sam Knights? We don't want to waste any ammunition, but there's just two of them, and I don't want to draw shots from the rest of the army. And yeah, the enemy are just very aggressive, charging in, so let's get everyone to fire at will. We will let our archers get some shots in, and then we're going to have them retreat. Fire at the war dogs, maybe. Uh, yeah, war dogs are getting involved. We don't want them to interact too much with our ranged troops, so let's have them retreat, and we'll have our general's units deal with the war dogs. But yeah, if we can focus fire on these princip... What are you doing? This is not the instruction I gave you. But we killed the enemy general. Get out of there! Oh, they're... Okay, go in that direction. They were charging towards the handlers of the war dogs, which is not what I wanted. So, yeah, don't do that. Uh, you guys... Yeah, get, just get back. You fire at these velites. You fire at these Brinjipes. The war dogs are just unfortunately going to do a lot of damage. Who are they fighting right now? Chosen Archer Warband. Okay. We actually have decent melee attack with that unit. So we'll have them fight. Have our general try to help. See if we can just kill these war dogs. And then everyone else can continue firing at these Principes. All right. We just need to do some good damage to these Principes, and then we can charge in with the heavy cavalry, cause some breaks, and wrap up this battle. And we'll try to relocate our Scythians so they stop getting mauled by the dogs. Are they all gone? I hear them. No, there's still a few dogs left. Yeah, very unfortunate. Lost some Scythians there. That's the power of war dogs. You can't really stop them from mauling, like, Scythians, stuff like that. Okay, what are you doing? What What is this plan? Did I tell you to do that? Maybe. I didn't mean to, though. Oh, <laughs> I told them to attack the war dogs, so they went for the handlers again. Classic. All right. Uh, this is a very out-of-control battle. Let's try and just drop like this. We're just going to do Napoleon style. Just drop like this. Fire all your arrows. We could end the battle here, but I don't want to just because this is the army that's inside the city. So if we can kill all of them, then we can take the city right now, which would be awesome. So we have the Scythians pursuing to chop down the survivors with their swords, which means they'll also fire as they approach. So we'll get this on triple game speed, just get as many kills as we can. We've killed 94% of the enemy armies, so I don't know if that's enough for the whole army inside the city to have disbanded, but I mean, we killed most of them, right? There were some survivors who survived. 18 off of the army in the city, 28 off of the army in the field. Both should disband, hopefully. Yep. We just knocked out the broody eye. <laughs> okay, this army which attacked Athens is attacked in the field by Aristox and the Savannah, which will obviously be a loss. I mean, this is a tiny army. I was just seeing if we could get a little cheeky win on Athens with our honors. So we're going to lose this, but I'm going to see if I can kill their general with my honors before we lose this battle. So we'll see. We'll try it out. Do we have some high ground? Oh, we do. Beautiful. Okay. So let's go all the way to the high ground with our onagers. This is the star of the show. Everyone else is just going to guard the onagers. So just line up like this and try to protect the onagers for as long as possible. And then we will have the onagers on fire at will with, at first, regular ammo and then flaming ammo. We'll tell all the missile troops to not skirmish. Use guard mode. Just hold your ground for as long as possible. All right, we have a shot on these Lancers, so we'll just get some pot shots in on them with the Onagers. Fire at these Greek Cavalry, this middle unit here, just because they are sandwiched between two other units. So if we fire here, we should hopefully get some shots on the units next to them. I don't know, are we even gonna get a single shot off? I don't know. Looks like they're going straight for the onitors, which is smart, unfortunately. No way we can get a shot on the general. 
Yeah, just, just fire it while here. We'll turn on flaming ammo. Just fire it whatever you can reach. Oh, wow. Oh, this is good. Big damage to these light lancers. Just fire it while you can reach. They're not firing. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're going to lose these onagers. This is pretty much a, a loss here. Yeah, we got one more shot in. Come on, guys. Fire at will. There you go. We actually broke one unit of cavalry, which is crazy. Fire at these light lancers. Yes. Do not be cowards. Imagine. <laughs> this is this actually working? Any shot? Any shot at these light lancers? No. All right, what, what else can we reach? Fire at this uh, this hoplite. No, yeah, okay. We got some kills and that was fun, but that's a that's a lost battle. But that's what we got for playing aggressively. We killed 552 of them. How many did we kill with just the onagers? It says like 27, which is shocking. But we killed 270 with the archer warband. Are you serious? That's crazy. I thought we killed way more than that with the onagers. Boo. All right, we are attacked at Tarentum. And we haven't taken Crodon yet because it just rebelled since we destroyed the Broody Eye. But like, let's make sure. Did we destroy the Broody Eye? What? Did it just not notify us? Are the Broody Eye out of the game? Yes, okay, we destroyed the Broody Eye. I thought so, but it didn't give us a notification. That's okay. All right, we'll take Crodon. Do we take Crodon and then defend Tarantum? Probably. Right, what's in here? Peasants, Velites. We'll go kill the Julii first, and then we'll take Crodon. All right, C Captain Valerius. Scary army. Lots of heavy infantry. I don't know if we can win this, but we're going to try. We have a lot of archers, though. That's our whole thing. And we just don't shy away from any fight anymore. Doesn't matter if we're going to win or lose. I took out the Broody Eye already, so this has been a productive part. I just want to kill Romans, so. All right, get our long-range archers over here. We'll guard them with our heavy cavalry and let the Scythians do their thing. Scythians, are you in range? Nearly. Let's have them... Hmm, maybe just stay there. Just, just, you'll have a shot soon enough. Yeah, there we go. And long range archers are also in range. What do we have over here? Velites. Let's get our generals over there, see if we can kill the Velites. I could also ward off the Equites, so. Yeah, we'll see what flank we have an opportunity on. It looks like these Velites are totally unprotected. So let's get over here. And yeah, charge these Velites. They should break pretty easily. Wavering already. Broken. Beautiful. And yeah, this is this is scary for the enemy. We got one more unit of long-range archers on the way from the reinforcements. Actually behind the enemy, so they might get killed here. But we'll see if we can get some shots in on these Equites before we lose them. We're going to have them not skirmish, hold your ground, just, just fire from here. We're going to see if we can save them with my general's units, though. It's possible. Because they are just kind of hanging out for now. Get some damage in on these Equites. Yeah, that's who you should target. Definitely do not fire at the Cavalry Auxilia. And we'll charge the Cavalry Auxilia with my general's units, because they'll skirmish and they'll run in a random direction. Hopefully not directly into my reinforcements. We're doing some decent damage to their Equites. We're down to 76. But yeah, Cavalry Auxilia are just running. Let's see what they do here. Any chance they let us charge into them? Yes, amazing. Can we kill their general right here? That would help a lot with winning this battle. Beautiful. General has broken. We will see if we can kill him. Where is he? Can we see him? Probably over here then. There we go. He's dead. General's dead. Let's charge into these Velites for now. And by the way, over here, we're just doing the Napoleon thing. We're just drawing up long lines, firing all of our missiles. So, yeah, they'll just keep skirmishing. And 
They should kill most of the army there. Let's kill these Equites that are wavering. Beautiful, they've broken. And let's get our long range archers to go deal with these Principes from the reinforcing army. We've killed 47% of the enemy army. We've lost 0% of our army. That's crazy. This is why I, I, I thought this would increase the challenge to do like a total war attack everyone campaign. But with long range archers, you can just kind of win every battle. So I don't know. Hopefully this is enough challenge. Let me know if I need to do even more challenge. We can do another shakeup episode. <laughs> Let's not charge into these Principes. Get our generals back. And we'll just use up all of our ammo on these Principes over here. What's happening over here? We took some casualties, I think just from Pila. But these Principes are wavering. So we took some damage, but we should still be winning this. Yeah, it looks like we're winning this easily. Check on our Warlords. How are y'all doing? Pretty well. We can clean up these Velites. These Archers are just trading shots with Principes, which isn't ideal because Pila do more damage than arrows. Let's get some decent distance between us and the Principes and then see if we can just shoot them from a distance because they're not really getting good volleys in if they're being chased. And I'll keep the generals moving. We don't want them to get pinned down by these Principes. I would love to charge into these Principes with my generals units. My Chosen Archer Warband are eager. Their Principes are shaken. Any chance if we get a volley into them, they will be wavering? They're reloading. Let's just keep firing. I think we can out damage them here. We'll keep our generals moving. How many volleys are you guys getting in? Enough that this is worth it? Maybe. Charge on. I don't know if they can win this, but Chosen Archer Warband have decent melee attack. Yes, they're broken! Oh my goodness, they won that. They just beat Hestadi. They just beat Princhavez, I mean. Oh my gosh! I can't believe they just beat Princhavez. Alright, shoot them in the back. Easy. Wow! Chosen Archer Warband are crazy. They really just turned on Principes and won. And they'll get a lot of kills shooting them in the back. You guys can go help clean up the main army. We've destroyed most of it now, so the generals can just clean up these battered units. We just don't have much ammo left now, but maybe if everyone just charges these Hisati from all directions, they'll break. They're wavering. Broken. Amazing. <laughs> I've never used archers as infantry as much as I am right now. Let's get our Scythians in here. They still have more arrows. You guys, come help out. We will just clean up this whole army right now. And these guys are being attacked by more Principes, but I think they can win another fight. They won the last one. They're eager. These Principes are wavering. Are they going to defeat another unit of Principes? This is crazy, guys. Chosen Archer Warband are so broken. Over here, Scythians are getting some shots in. This is just devastating. This army is getting shredded. Dacians are so powerful. Dacians are better than a Roman faction. I'm going to say it now. You should not be beating Principes with archers. But that's what we're doing. We'll have the Scythians hold off on firing at whatever they were firing at. We'll have them turn their attention to these Principes. It's the only unit left on the battlefield that hasn't broken. So we need their ammo for them. And we'll just let the archers continue routing these troops. What's happening over here? These Principes have reformed again. This is not going to work out for you guys. These guys are scary. They have taken on this unit of Principes and just beaten them over and over and over again. And the last unit has broken. Beautiful. Run them down. We will clean up these Principes. And this was a crazy victory. Look at that. Oh, we killed 96% of the enemy army. Let's go ahead and end it. Heroic victory. We took 91 casualties. In total, I think it's about 100 after some friendly fire. 
but 2,345 kills. Are we going to wrap up all of Italy right now? I think we might. Okay, what do we need to do to keep Tarentum? Because they're rioting. We might just have to sit in here for one turn. And then next turn, we will go take Rodon. That was crazy. Okay, we profited uh, negative 13,000 denarii last turn. <laughs> yeah, we spend a lot. Waging war is expensive. I'm okay with it. Our economy was too good before. New family member, Hestia, welcome to the most aggressive faction in the world. You're going to have fun here. Parthia and Armenia have just announced an alliance, which they will need, but I don't know if it'll be enough because we're coming in that direction and we're not taking any prisoners. Let's take a look. Ooh, new retinue for Skyly's famous warrior. He's so good. I love you, Skyly's. I hope you get your day as faction leader before you die. You're so fun. We have a new Hall of Heroes at Tylus. Honestly, probably was not the best use of our money. I probably should have canceled that, but it's okay. We will need to build more infantry to send over to Asia Minor, so that's all right. So guess to go, we got an archery range, which is good because we're leaving it mostly undefended. Let's build some Chosen Archer Warband here, and then we'll continue building peasants for public order. At Aquincum, we have communal farming. We'll continue building High King's Hall there. We want to be able to build some better troops there soon. Looks like the Gauls are coming in to attack us at Segestica, but that's okay. We're going to leave behind one more unit of Illyrians, and then Zalmoxis will continue up to Aquincum. Let's grab these reinforcements from Campus Yazigis to send down to Aquincum. And yeah, Segestica will be fine with one unit of Chosen Swordsmen, two units of Illyrians, and some Chosen Archer Warband. No matter what these units are from Gaul, we've got some gold skirmishers with attack of 12, but they're fine. We'll be okay. Got a mercenary captain for Zalmoxis. Good for you, buddy. You're going to be doing a lot of mercenary captaining because you're taking your mercenary army up to Germany. Wonder how long it's going to take me to knock out all of the Roman factions. I'm just going to speed run it as much as I can. No prisoners. Uh, actually, we have an opportunity to repair our army here. Since we're parking overnight in Tarentum, Let's repair these units of Chosen Archer Warband, and then we'll build some peasants here. Captain Zyraxes can continue his long march down to pick up this little settlement. And let's check on Tenais. Ah, we can't build any peasants if Tenais doesn't have a governor's building because they blew it up. So let's retrain these troops and or actually we'll do this and retrain like that. And then we're going to queue Warband here because Warband have the same amount of population as Peasants. So hopefully Tenace will be under control if we build some more troops there. I don't know. Hiking's Hall. If we repair that and build some more troops, will public order go up? I don't know. Hopefully for one turn, we could move our capital from Poralissum to Campus Getai. We'll just do that so we don't lose Tenace, and then we'll move it back to not lose the rest of these cities. That's good. By the way, where did that Broody Eye army go that was outside of Apollonia? Did they, did they get on a boat? Maybe they despawned when the faction disbanded. I don't know. But that's good for me because Apollonia was massively underdefended. We'll queue some more peasants here because they're not happy. We're going to have some rioting this turn, I think. But let's bring Partitua south with some reinforcements, and he's going to take on the Macedonians. We'll buy some mercenaries for him and keep building troops at Larissa. We're going to need them. We will build some more Chosen Archer Warband. All right, Vetsina's army is ready to get on the boats. Let's see how many units here. Four. We only have four spots, and we want to buy some mercenaries. So let's drop off these Barbarian Cavalry in Thessalonica. And then we will bring all these troops onto this fleet. And how far can we get? We can get nearly all the way there. We'll go here. Any chance we can get the army off the boat? No. Any of them? Yes. Okay. So we'll grab some of the troops that can make it off the boat now. And then we'll grab the rest of our infantry next turn. Just on the off chance we lose this ship to pirates or something. We'll buy some mercenaries here. And yeah, I mean, I don't think we would be attacked by our allies, right? 
Maybe, but oh man, look at this Pontus army. That's scary. Eastern infantry, defensive 16. You don't see that often. Part of Tua just got a mercenary captain. Cool, good for you. But yeah, we're going to be somewhat outnumbered at Pergamum. Hopefully, Pontus wins this battle and then we can just pick up Pergamum without losing our alliance with the Greeks. That'd be really funny. But if we need to betray the Greeks, I will do it in a heartbeat. I don't care. So, yeah, this is this is not a good time to be a Greek. Ooh, we've got fun mercenaries, and we're buying them. We're just buying them. I have no regard for money anymore. We've got a pretty nice army here. Okay, at Byzantium, we got some onagers. And, yeah, Nicomedia will be ours, like, next turn. Skylurus has lost sight of that Scythian army. Let's go ahead and kill these rebels. And then, oh, they've, they've run away. Okay. We'll build a watchtower here. And do we want to kill these Scythians? Can we reach them? We'll grab our infantry and place them right here. And then, I, I, I don't know. Can we start a fight here? No, we can't. I messed that up. That's okay. We'll grab these Scythians next turn. Then we'll grab these rebels, grab these rebels, and go take Campus Sarmatii. We'll go ahead and end this turn. I don't expect there to be any excitement at the end of this turn. Ooh, ooh, wow, new husband. Good attacker, good defender, sharp, command talent, and confident commander, 18 years old. Are you kidding me? This guy's amazing. Where is he? Tarentum, of course. Oh, you're going to kill so many Romans. I am so excited for you. Solius, you will replace our horrible Duras as the assistant to Skyles. Let's give some of Skyles's retinue to you. Famous warrior, because I seem to get a famous warrior all the time. Shield bearer. And we'll give Civilized Slave to Duras, because Duras will be the manager at Tarentum. We'll leave him behind here. We actually have slaves in Tarentum, so we'll leave a slave trader with Duras as well. And then let's grab all of our troops except for Duras, and can we leave nothing in Tarentum? No, Tarentum is not happy with that. What can we leave here at a minimum? We'll leave some Chosen Archer Warband. Uh, the ones with no experience will leave in Tarentum. Is that enough? Oh, not happy. Okay. We've stopped the riding at Tanae, so we can change our capital to something more central. I think Bylazora would be our best option. We'll turn Bylazora into our capital and see if anything's rebelling after that. Yeah, we're going to have some rioting for sure, but I think we can handle it. Okay. Let's stop building these Warband and start building Peasants. At Tanais, up to 70% public order, that's perfect. At Campus Scythii, we're at 70%, that's perfect. We've got some more peasants just in case. At Campus Getai, 70%, this is ideal. Are you kidding me? We'll keep Xyraxes heading south. Anyone else really upset about that? 70%, wow, we are just playing that line perfectly. I know I said I wouldn't be micromanaging, but like when it's this easy. All right, Zomoxus, you... Can we hold on to a quincum with nothing in it? Yes, we can. Beautiful. So Zalmoxus, march up here, and you merge into Zalmoxus' army, and just start marching towards the Germans. We're going to attack them. Any fun mercenaries here? Ooh, Basterni. And Sarmatians, we'll take them. We're warmongers now. We are not holding on to our money for anything. Since we moved our capital back to Bylazora, or down to Bylazora, I don't think it ever was, but now it is. Uh, what is the public order like in Tarentum? 50%. Hmm. What about when we build some more peasants? 55%. We're going to have some rioting in Tarentum, but we haven't had any rioting yet. We should be okay. We'll go ahead and besiege Crodon, and worst case, we will have taken Crodon next turn, and then we can send something back to Tarentum. So, we should be okay there. Okay, part of Tua. Let's hang out in this fort. And we'll grab reinforcements from Larissa. Ah, we can't grab reinforcements from Larissa. Let's go kill this army here. It's just some peasants. No, we'll lose it. Okay. Go back to Larissa. We'll grab some reinforcements from Thurman, though. And at Thurman, we'll just build, yeah, some peasants. That's good. Our end of turn report, we lost 12,681 denarii. How much are we going to lose this turn? So far, none, but I doubt that will keep up. 
Oh gosh, at Campus Yazagis, we got a Sacred Circle of Zamoxis. That's okay. Larissa, Shipwright, great. Tenace, High King's Hall. Okay. Good stuff. All right. We will attack some Scythians, I think. Nothing else to do this turn, right? Just want to make sure we're not making any grave errors. Doesn't look like it. We'll hold on to all these cities. Let's attack some Scythians. Just some Axemen and Archer Warband will be nice and quick. And yeah, I hope you're enjoying this change of pace with this campaign. I don't want people to get bored. That's the main thing. This game is for fun. I'm not taking it too seriously. We're going to win if we play like this. And we're going to win if we don't play like this. So I'd rather have fun with it. But if you really don't enjoy this like really fast, aggressive way of playing, please let me know. I will change back to the old ways of being very careful and fiscally responsible and all of that. I don't mind playing like that. Obviously, I play like it a lot. But I just don't want a boring game. So, yeah. <laughs> We're going to try out being a little bit more aggressive and see if that's fun for these campaigns that are a little bit easier than something like the Spanish campaign. I'm just letting you know in our near future, it's going to be stuff like the Numidia campaign, which let me tell you, if you haven't tried the Numidia campaign on Very Hard, Very Hard, load it up. Just try it. It's brutal. Uh, so that is in our near future, probably our next campaign. I won't confirm that because I like switching things up and changing my mind at the last minute, but that's very likely to be our next campaign. And that's really difficult. So we have challenge in the near future. And for these easier campaigns, I'd rather be really fast paced and get them done really fast and have fun with it. That's my way of looking at it. But let me know what you think. I'm going to call it right there. We've got a lot to do next part. Look at this. We are, we are landing our army on Asia Minor. Let's, let's do it right here. We will pull off our mercenary. Peltas. There we go. We have one more unit in here, which we will bring in next turn. We've got some fighting to do next turn. We've got to fight Pontus, declare war on them, and then we'll attack at Nicomedia. And we're just going to start pushing Pontus back as quickly as possible. We're going to keep fighting the Romans, go up here and knock out Capua, and then take on SPQR itself. We'll be declaring war on the Germans next part. So a lot of excitement in our near future, finally, after some pretty easy, kind of boring parts. So hopefully this spices things up for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. If you haven't heard, I started a Patreon for this channel, patreon.com slash tdsniper. Links in the description of this video or in my bio on YouTube. There are three different tiers. At $3 a month, you can join the Parthian Purple Pajama Party, which is mostly just a tier for supporting me a little bit. It gets you a written thank you at the end of my videos and gets you access to some exclusive content on my Patreon. At $10 a month, you can go up to the Senators tier, which gives you voting rights on new videos. We'll be hosting polls on Patreon.com, where I put ideas I have for videos and the Senator tier backers can vote on which videos I make each month. I'll also include a special thank you at the end of the video, recognizing my Senator level backers. And if you are crazy and hate your money and want to give me all of it, then you can join the Imperator tier, which is $30 per month, as all the benefits of the Senator and Parthian Purple Pajama Party tiers. But also you can request literally any video and I will make it in your honor. So you can also participate in the voting process that the Senators do and you will get a special thank you at the end of every video, but I will literally just make whatever video you tell me to make. No matter how long it is, or whether it would be good for the channel, I will just make it. So if you want that strange and unusual power over me, you can join the Imperator level on my Patreon. I made this Patreon not because I feel like I should be making a living off of these YouTube videos. I do it for fun, I do it for the interaction with the community. But if I can make some more money from the channel through my Patreon, if you feel like helping me out, I will be able to justify putting more time towards this channel than I already am. I'll never take away videos from my main channel to put on the Patreon. I'll just add new videos if I'm making some money on the side. I don't get monetized on my YouTube channel until I reach 1,000 subscribers, so I still have a long road ahead of me on that front. But if I can make a little money here and there, it'd be really helpful for me. But if you don't feel like backing my channel on Patreon, that's totally fine. I don't expect to make any money on Patreon. I just don't want to leave no way for people to back me if they really enjoy my content, have a few extra dollars a month.
and want to support me. So I made this. But yeah, thank you so much for watching my videos. As always, have a great day. Bye-bye.